This was built with the um, chronic medical care in mind. In mind. Diabetes, hypertension. Okay. Uh, as we all, yeah. Okay. As we all know, uh, we our HIV prevalence rate in the uh, in the county is uh, going up. Currently, we are at 4.4, and uh, statistics uh, show that uh, HIV infection is uh, on the rise. And this is more so uh, among the uh, the adolescents and the young people. So we thank uh, our partners. Uh, for the various interventions that they're doing, both at the facility, facility level and at uh, the community level, so as to curb uh, these uh, high rates of uh, HIV new infections. Uh, we also thank uh, uh, HF uh, for taking this move. We are so grateful. We've really appreciated. We really want to uh, give uh, our clients uh, services at uh, an, er an environment that is more conducive than where we've been giving them and I know that uh, in the next uh, uh, four five months as uh, they've said this building here is going to create a very enabling environment for our clients and improve our services with those few remarks I once again thank uh, AHF for this move I think, Asante uh, there have been an increase in uh, infection of young mothers uh, HIV. What, what do you have over that? And you also say your name and your position. In that. Oh, my name is uh, Margaret Onkoba. I'm the HIV AIDS coordinator in this sub county that is Kitutu Chache South. Uh, as we've heard that uh, there's a high prevalence rate of HIV new infections in the uh, in mother uh, in the uh, our adolescents. And this one is affecting the high rate of uh, transmission of uh, mother to child HIV infection. Uh, what we are encouraging our mothers, once they become pregnant, once they realize that they are pregnant, they should all uh, make an effort of coming to the ANC visit, ANC clinic as a SGBV is still an issue, uh, uh, gender based violence is still an issue, and teenage pregnancy. We need concerted effort so that we can re minimize this. And one of the best ways to, uh, to minimize gender, uh, teenage pregnancy is to keep the girls in school, away from the perpetrators. The other thing is taking a uh, stern legal and uh, social action against the perpetrators so to deter them to keep our girls in school. Because we know the level of education of a girl or a mother determines the future of their family. So we are excited this day to work here. We believe four months. And we hope that by that time we will have the opportunity for the governor to, to come. We know he's been supporting us so that he can see the, the, the real impact on the ground for their people. Each of these clinical rooms, we have four clinical rooms. Each clinician will be seeing their patient by themselves, privacy. We also have what Wazir was talking as as operation room. We have a procedure room so that minor procedures can be done there. The cervical cancer screening, taking the samples, uh, for various lab it's there minor the things will be happening there the pharmacy will be here and in future uh, from the discussion we've had with the wave of integration this can